Hello, I am Loki Ferg, and I'm going to be, you know, talking about how to have a healthy sleep routine. And, you know, we're going to be getting straight into it. We're not going to waste any time. We're not going to, you know, sugarcoat it. We're going to tell it how it is, and then we're going to move on to the next topic. Okay, so this video is going to be all about your sleep routine and, you know, how, how you could, you know, go to sleep more faster and wake up, you know, not tired, not exhausted, you know, and you know, feeling feeling like you could just uh, just stretch, you know, just just actually just stretch. All right, so I got I got a list here. Um, let's get into it. So on the first first on the list that I have, you know, gotten, stick stick to a sleep schedule. Try to go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Even on the weekends. So try to stick to a sleep schedule, okay? Now two, create a bedtime ritual. Take a warm bath, read a book, or listen to calming music before bed, okay? Create a bedtime ritual. And you know, that just means, you know, do certain things, you know, uh, that you'll do for yourself to help you get into, you know, the vibe that just finna go to sleep. You're like, some songs that will calm your mind so you just you know when you close your eyes you just fall asleep lullabies um another thing another thing so uh avoid screens before bed turn off electronic devices at least 30 minutes before going to bed or you know yeah turn it off chart put it if you need to charge it put it on your desk like a far like a car like so my bed over my bed over there right I'll put my phones all all the way on this side of the desk, like all the way over there. So when it's all the way over there, I I just can focus on going to sleep. And when I wake up, I'm not just I don't just go scrolling, scrolling. I you know I do some things to get my mind centered. And then four, <laughs> limit caffeine and alcohol intake. Avoid caffeine and alcohol at least four hours before bedtime, cause you know. With caffeine, it'll keep you up all night. If you if you do some caffeine, like if you do some things that that is like give you energy, yeah. The alcohol, you know, it, it's just gonna make you wake up with like a hangover, depending on how much you you really drunk. But you know, l limit the things that you intake before bed, so you know your body. Like if you gonna eat before bed, your body gonna be hard for you to sleep because your body gotta digest that. When you digest that, then when your belly, when your gut digest that, that's when you can you know go to sleep peacefully. Or when you're in meditation and you eat before meditation, it's hard to really you know just you know focus on nothing if you know you just ate. So you know, your stomach growling and shit. You, you know you like you, you got all type of thoughts that's from eating before going to that. Meditation, unless you was going to meditate that food into some to a uh, specific area in life, like an energy that you want to take, like you know, uh, watermelon. You know, I use that to you know get more grounded. But that's a different video, different different topic. All of that. Go check out my color videos if y'all want to know about you know colors. Um, fifth, exercise regularly. Exercise during the day can help make your sleep schedule way better at night. In the daytime, so like exercise during the day, you know, it'll help you sleep at night better. So st like when you wake up, at least if you a guy, do at least like you know, if you a young guy, do at least like 50 push-ups throughout the day till it's nighttime. You know, if you a man, do at least 150. You know, if you a girl, you could do some sit-ups and squats. You don't really need no big ass like. <laughs> you don't really need all that. Just do some squats and sit-ups. You'll be good, if you, and and you know, just do that throughout the day. Like, I right, how many how many squats you should do? I think you should do at least uh thirty five. And how, how many sets you do for the girls? I think you should do at least like uh fifteen. And, you know, that's just a start. And then you know, once you get that down pack, you can make your own uh sets of how much you do, and you know, when you know how much you, how your body can take it. But this will make you fall asleep, like. Like that, after you, if you legit go work out, do, to get your body moving. Okay, six, make sure your sleep environment is comfortable and relaxing. 
adjust the temperature, the lighting, noise levels in your bedroom to suit your preference. So, you know, this could, you know, you be closing your blinds or this could be you having a little night light. But whatever you need to do to get yourself to feel more comfortable, to just fall asleep easily, like with me, right? Uh, I'll turn off all lights so it'll just be pitch black dark in my room. And I'll cover my windows so you won't be able to see no type of light at all. And then boom, I'm asleep. Seven, manage stress levels. Practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing. Like this, like this. Peace. And, you know, just do it at least three times. Or... You can meditate to help you unwind before bed. So this means, you know, before going to sleep, you could do a meditation. And doing a meditation, that is, you know, you could legit go up to guided meditations. Or you could be the person who guides yourself in the meditation. That means you put on meditation music and you use your imagination to take you to uh, places. A.K.A. say you go inside this, this ele elevator and your mind is taking you... Uh, to the next level if it's going up and if it's going down it's taking you to the program place where you can you know reprogram your subconscious so you could be using you know your imagination and uh be your own guru when you meditating and you don't have to be out here just listening you know you could be the dictator of your meditations the person you know telling yourself that you know this what I'm visualizing, what it means, what happens when you go inside this, what happens when you come out of it. So that's, yeah. But, you know, manage your stress level, and that'll help you, you know, get more sleep. Get more sleepy if you get relaxed and take deep breaths. But if you overly stress, it's probably hard for you to just go to sleep. Eighth, eat a healthy diet. Avoid he heavy meals before bed and try to eat a balanced diet. Like, try to try to eat, you know good for you that don't mean just eating all greens you know that might not just be good for you because you might lack the fiber or the lack of the ingredients of the nutrients that you might need if you're not you know if you're just eating all greens and you don't know the other part of the nutrients that you would need then you know that could turn um down bad for you but you know keeping it balanced you know you could eat uh you could be vegan for a couple months say and um you could you know you can eat like meat or eat stuff like that every once in a while, like every like blue moon. If that's like, or you can be the person who eats, you know, uh, meat all the time, but eat vegan every once in a blue moon. Like, just have a little balanced, or you know, it don't even have to. You become vegan, you could just eat, uh, fucking, you know, a day you just eat plant based stuff, and then you know, you just add that into your routine, and then you know, you should be able to. Uh, start to see a difference between your your energy level and you know how how it affects you when you go to sleep like if you really want to go straight to sleep go get some mcdonald's eat that shit before we laying down or like when i say mcdonald's let me show it's like some meals that 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 is like lower vibration so when you eat that shit it make you sleepy like make and like you like be so full that you just gotta you know gotta lay down for a minute but yeah, those eight, you got to eat healthy. Now, nine, avoid naps during the day. Napping during the day can make it harder to fall asleep at night. So if you napping during the day, that's why you staying up all night. If you always wonder why you always up all night, it's because you probably take too many naps during the, the daytime. And then you wake up at, you know, 10 o'clock and then you be trying to go to sleep. You're like, why can't I go to sleep? Because you took too many goddamn naps. So avoid taking, you know, naps during the day. Unless you're going to take a nap at, like, um... You know, uh, 7 o'clock, you probably wake up at, like, 5 in the morning. You know, that's that's better than you waking up at 10 p.m. Then you're trying to sleep, and you got work tomorrow. Oh, no. Nah. 10. Consider using sleep aids like white noise machine or earbuds. This can help block out noises and create more peaceful sleep environment. So, you know, you could legit, like, play your favorite songs if, you, like, you don't like white noise. Like, you know how it's 10-hour loops of songs? You play your favorite song, and, you know, just until you fall asleep, shit. Or you can get some earbuds, earplugs, and just, like, 
go straight deaf to, you know, anything that was going to uh, get your attention while you was trying to uh, fall asleep. So, you know, that was all 10 of them, 10 tips on how to sleep better. And, you know, the best one for, for y'all, you know, th I think y'all should try. Um, Y'all should get into meditation. And I think you should uh, stick to a sleep schedule that is no... You always do it. It's not like, I'm going to just wake up at this time. No, it's like, this is your sleep schedule. Like, me specifically, no matter what. No, like, I can legit just go to sleep. I'm going to wake up at 5 in the morning. Like, no matter what. It's because, like, ever since I've been in high school, I, to be exact, ever since I was a sophomore, I've been meditating. I, I used to wake up because I used to have to go to school, be at school at 7. So I used to wake up at 5 and meditate for two hours, at, like, for until I graduated. And and then, you know, that's, and then I guess my body just naturally, it, like, no matter what, like, it can legit be, I, I went to sleep at 4.55, and I wake up at 5. And it's like, hey, what, what can I do about that? You know, what I do about that, though, I just, you know, I don't really be as tired though. Like if I if I close my eyes and open them, I'm not tired no more. But if 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 I if I like you know go to a space where you know I sleep all day, I wake up tired. But if I legit go to sleep for five minutes, I wake up fully refreshed. Like like I just slept for eight hours. But you know, when I say sleep through the day, I'm talking about I wake up at ten p ten ten a.m. and sleep all the way to five p.m. So nah. Now, don't do that. That's not good to be sleeping through the whole day. But other than that, though, that was these. Low key, I'm me, you, you. Um, my channel is a, uh, you know, it's about all of us. It's not just you know, uh, about me. But you know, I am the host of this show. That's why you see low key everywhere. That's why you know, it's all about me and my things. But I don't, I don't see y'all as fans. Uh. Actually, you know, I don't like that word. I would say, you know, uh, a supporter. And, you know, I don't I don't necessarily want to call y'all a box. So uh, uh, a community, that's what we are. And, you know, that's what this is about, us coming together. Uh, genuinely, I want y'all to uh, have a good day, be peaceful, and, you know, get to manifesting.